Welcome to Adtran University Show Me video series. In this video, we're going to go over how to modify outbound caller ID. There are two very good resources uh, for this topic, which are outbound caller ID priority and enhanced anti-DNA substitution. Both of these can be found in our support forms, shown as a link on the slide. What we're going to go over real quickly, I'm going to actually going to show you the outbound caller ID. The enhanced anti-DNA substitution is a great guide for actually showing you how to um, actually configure it in more detail. But it's important to understand the order of, of how the outbound caller ID um, is, is used. A lot of people used to use on the PRI uh, trunk, use this caller ID override. This was the old way of doing it. Some people still do that. Um, it's not really the recommended way. Um, to do it anymore. Um, if you're a voice user, um, uh, the SIP identity can be used as an outbound caller ID for, for when this user places a call. But the recommended way is what we call enhanced any substitution, which is the link right here. Um, so you actually go into the SIP trunk, the outbound SIP trunk going to the PSDN, and you use the match any substitution to configure that. And that's what we're going to show you in this video. So you can log into your unit, and I'm just going to do a show run voice. And inside of here, you can see my SIP trunk um, that I don't have uh, any match any DNA substitution on here. Um, I don't have any uh, anything on a PRI. One thing I do have is uh, on this voice user, I have a SIP identity. So real quickly, I'm just going to show you uh, what my caller ID looks like when I place an outbound call, so when I modify. So I'm going to place a call on that user 2000, and you're going to see um, exactly what my outbound caller ID is. Alright, so I'll just place a real call real quick. I'm just going to scroll up here, so you can see here that my from field is indeed that 770 number, because it's using that SIP identity for that user right here. All right, so again, typically the most common way is doing it on the outbound SIP trunk. And again, my trunk number is trunk T01. So I'm going to go into global configuration mode, T01. And then the command is match. So you can modify the ANI, which is the calling number, or the DNS, or the dial number. So both of those are done here. Um, so next thing is you're going to do, and one thing to also remember is that order is specific. Is, is And we'll go over that here in a minute and how that can catch you here. So I don't care um, who is calling. I want all numbers to, to, to match this. And typically the number that you specify, or so any, any caller. So I'm going to do any caller here, and then you're going to substitute it. And this is where you substitute. So uh, the dollar sign is a match all. So I'm gonna so every outbound call, I'm gonna substitute it to this number. And typically you use the BTN or the billing telephone number or the number associated to that customer's account. So in this example, it's gonna be seven seven zero nine six three, and then I'll just call it eight thousand. If you want to, you also have the ability to modify the name if you want to. So in this example, I'm just going to do this. And then what I'm going to do now is place an outbound call. And then we'll see in the front field how it gets changed. So I'll just place a real quick outbound call. I'll scroll up in my debug. And you can see now in my from field how now no matter which caller I call from, it's now going to show up as 770-963-8000. Now one thing to, sometimes you might want to have different numbers for different people. So I could do a match any. And then for example, let's say I want a different user um, to have a different phone number. So instead of using a dollar sign, I'm going to be more specific. I'm going to do 770 963 and we're going to have a different number, which is 1001. If he places a call, maybe I want him to have a different number. So I want to do 770-963. Um, maybe I want him to have uh, 1001 like that. Or maybe I want him to have 8001. So when people call in. Or maybe I want him to have like an 800 number. So like 800 um, 963 you know, 1001. So when they call, when he calls out, they want him to show up as a long distance number. Uh, say maybe he's calling customers, for example. All right. So now if I do a do show run voice trunk, you can see here that I have two match statements in here. Um, so remember, one thing I did tell you is that order is very specific. So I'm going to place a call now from my other phone. Um, these are just uh, registrations. Um, 
and watch what happens because since the dollar sign is before this, when I call from this user, it's going to hit that dollar sign. So watch what happens now when I place an app on call from that 1001 phone. So I place the call, and you can actually see here um, where the call is still coming from 8000. So the way you get around that, if I, do, again, hit the up arrow key and do a show run voice trunk, what we have to do is we have to move this dollar sign to below that. Because if this specific user dials, I want him to use his 800, but everybody else, I want to do the dollar sign. So what's happening is when he's placing a call, it's catching the dollar sign first before even looking down here. It's not the most specific. With match any, it's order. So it's very important to understand that. So what we have to do here is we have to negate this top command here and then just add it back and now if we do a show command we can see now that the dollar sign is below it so now if I place an outbound call and I hang up and I scroll up you can see now that my outbound caller ID is coming from the 800 number so hopefully um, this video is helpful. Again, the recommended way of modifying it is using the enhanced DNA substitution. The other thing to remember is you have multiple match any statements. That order does matter. You always want your most specific at the top and then your, your general at the very bottom. Um, so hopefully uh, this was helpful. And again, keep an eye out for more AdTran University Show Me training videos. Thanks and have a great day.